Vijaya Lakshmi Pandit the 18th of August 1900 to the 1st of December 1990 was an Indian diplomat and politician the sister of Jawaharlal Nehru the aunt of Indira Gandhi and the grand aunt of Rajiv Gandhi each of whom served as prime minister of India Pandit was sent to London as India's most important diplomat after serving as Nehru's envoy to the Soviet Union the USA and the United Nations her time in London offers insights into the wider context of changes in Indo-British relations. Her high commissionership was a microcosm of intergovernmental relations. Topic: <laughs> Personal life. Vijaya Lakshmi's father, Mudalal Nehru (1861–1931), a wealthy barrister who belonged to the Kashmiri Pandit community, served twice as president of the Indian National Congress during the independence struggle. Her mother, Swaraprani Thusu (1868–1938), who came from a well-known Kashmiri Brahmin family settled in Lahore, was Mudalal's second wife, the first having died in childbirth. She was the second of three children. Jawaharlal was eleven years her senior, b. 1889, while her younger sister Krishna Huthizing b. 1907, became a noted writer and authored several books on their brother. In 1921, she was married to Ranjit Sitaram Pandit (1893–1944), a successful Maharashtrian barrister from Kathiawad and classical scholar who translated Kalhana's epic history Rajatarangini into English from Sanskrit. He was arrested for his support of Indian independence and died in Lucknow prison in 1944, leaving behind his wife and their three daughters Chandralekha Mehta, Nayantara Sagal and Rita Dar. She died in the year 1990. Her daughter Chandralekha was married to Ashok Mehta and has three children. Her second daughter Nayantara Sagal, who later settled in her mother's house in Dehradun, is a well-known novelist. She was married to Gautam Sagal and had a daughter, Gita Sagal. Nayantara married E. N. Mangat Rai after Gautam's death. Her third daughter was Rita who was married to Avatar Krishna Dar and has two sons, including Gopaldhar. She worked in Red Cross. Gita Sagal, the writer and journalist on issues of feminism, fundamentalism, and racism, director of prize-winning documentary films, and human rights activist, is her granddaughter. Political career Pandit was the first Indian woman to hold a cabinet post in pre-independent India. In 1937, she was elected to the provincial legislature of the United Provinces and was designated Minister of Local Self-Government and Public Health. She held the latter post until 1938 and again from 1946 to 1947. In 1946, she was elected to the Constituent Assembly from the United Provinces. Following India's freedom from British occupation in 1947 she entered the diplomatic service and became India's ambassador to the Soviet Union from 1947 to 1949, the United States and Mexico from 1949 to 1951, Ireland from 1955 to 1961 during which time she was also the Indian High Commissioner to the United Kingdom, and Spain from 1958 to 1961. Between 1946 and 1968, she headed the Indian delegation to the United Nations. In 1953, she became the first woman president of the United Nations General Assembly she was inducted as an honorary member of the Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority in 1978 for this accomplishment. In India, she served as Governor of Maharashtra from 1962 to 1964, after which she was elected to the Indian Parliament's lower house, Lok Sabha, from Fulpur, her brother's former constituency from 1964 to 1968. Pandit was a harsh critic of her niece, Indira Gandhi's Prime Minister years specially after Indira had declared the emergency. Pandit retired from active politics after relations between them soured. On retiring, she moved to Dehradun in the Dune Valley in the Himalayan foothills. She came out of retirement in 1977 to campaign against Indira Gandhi and helped the Janata Dal win the 1977 election. She was reported to have considered running for the presidency, but Neelam Sanjeeva Reddy eventually ran and won the election unopposed. In 1979, she was appointed the Indian representative to the UN Human Rights Commission, after which she retired from public life. Her writings include The Evolution of India 1958 and The Scope of Happiness, a personal memoir 
Topic: Academics. She was the member of Aligarh Muslim University Executive Council. She never received any formal education. Topic: See also. Political families of the world.